What's good, y'all? It's King T's. Welcome back to Throughout the Association. And as Jay-Z said, first the fat boys break up. Now every day I wake up, somebody got a problem with Hov. And that brings me once again to Alan Foster versus the Ball family. Now, if you guys don't know the Alan Foster Ball family situation, just go through my channel. But for a quick summary, Alan Foster is LeVar Ball's former business partner and co-owner of the Big Baller brand. And he's been around LeVar's children since they were kids. But that all came to an end when Lonzo Ball found that $1.5 million was missing and even more than that. And since then, Lonzo Ball cut off communication and they've been going through a lawsuit. Now, Alan has been very quiet about the situation. He hasn't really said anything, which, I mean, he's going through a lawsuit. I expect that. But that all changed three days ago when he released a video on his new channel that really had nothing to do with his lawsuit or the accusations against him. But he did say some interesting stuff. Now, according to Alan, and I did a video about this months ago and many reported this months ago, basically... Sometime last year while Lonzo was hurt, he went to Ohio with Allen to get his ankle looked at and the doctor that looked at it told him he needed to get surgery. And Lonzo was going to go through with it until he called the Lakers to let them know what he was about to do. And they told him if he went through with that surgery and unauthorized surgery, they could void his contract. And I believe afterwards, Magic and Rob Palenka went to go get Lonzo themselves and he never had it never had that surgery. Allen says the Lakers were doing that in their best interest because that would ruin Lonzo trade value. And he also says because Lonzo never had that surgery, he's still dealing with some ligament issues that will continue until he addresses them. And he also blames LeVar for Lonzo's ankles because for, for what he calls running his boys into the ground when they were children. Allen says it's like Lonzo was 21, but his ankles are really 31. So basically Allen is saying, Lonzo dealing with a secret injury that has yet to be addressed. Now, again, this has nothing to do with the accusations against him, but do I believe Allen? I'm not really sure. There was some truth in what he was saying, but exactly what's true and what's not, it's hard to tell with him. When you when you accused of stealing $1.5 million, you're not really the most reliable source, and that's essentially what Lonzo and the Pelicans had to say about this situation. Now, according to TMZ, the Pelicans said the team strongly debunks this and was very aware of Lonzo's injury history and status before we traded for him. And the Ball family also released a statement that said Alan Foster has repeatedly lied, defrauded, and stole from the Ball family. Anything he says cannot be trusted. Now, I did reach out to Alan because I would like to ask him some more direct questions instead of him standing in front of a green screen acting like he in Columbia talking about something that really has nothing to do with the accusations against him. But as far as this situation, I really don't see it dying down anytime soon. So we'll just see where it goes from here. What you guys think about this? And definitely subscribe.